Me. Stay. No. I came up with an ingenious plan. Tag. Okie pokey weirdos. Reverie Cosplay 98 at your service. The reason I'm in this costume is because in my last video I did my very first Drag King experience. In this video you'll get to see how I pieced together this costume and how I managed to look more masculine stereotypically. Masculinity is a rainbow and very much a gray area. This is only stereotypical, no offense or unhappiness intended. Just for enjoyment, fun, and we have Medusa here because we're going to be styling a wig. But I'm also showing you the rest of the pieces for the following costume, the wig, and his bandolier shoulder pad type thing. Little bucket of water, glue, dump. This is going to be our hair gel. I would not suggest putting that in your natural hair. The second little bucket of water, which is for this. Oh, come on. Let go. Let go! This snot paint. <laughs> Let's go outside for the messy stuff. As you can see, I laid down a tarp. That way I would not get acrylic paint or glue on our cement. Let's get some coloring in there because in this video, his hair is a lot more black. I actually saw this technique on this video and technically I tried it first with my Rowena wig, but that didn't go so well because I used face paint hoping I could wash it out. Yeah, no, acrylic paint. And continue the process until you have the color and style that you want. You will get very messy. Will the acrylic paint not come off of your skin? No problem. Let's make the studs. Scrap craft foam. Ooh, and this is a Lucy Lace Maker eyeball. That will be coming up on my Patreon, hopefully this winter, because it is a very hot costume to make and wear. Now, we have all these little pieces to go on our costume, and this is all that's going in the trash. Always save your scraps of foam. But I have some that are a little taller now. Instead of cutting it halfway down the center, I cut it three-fourths and coil it in on itself as tightly as I can before this corner overextends the edge here. I liked how this one turned out because he kind of sits like a little marshmallow peep. But now I need to tweak, tweak these. For a base coat of gray spray paint. And they all ran away. I came up with an ingenious plan. Make a tape loop and stick it down. And now they won't blow away.
And now that these are dry, we're gonna do necessary touch-ups with a silver Sharpie. To make the base of the shoulder pad thing. Black craft foam is the easiest, but you can always paint the foam if you don't have black. Measure it to your shoulder, cut out an ovalish shape that would surround your shoulder, and we'll move on from there. I made mine smaller than the original so that I'd have more freedom of movement as well as how I'm going to attach it because the bandolier version would not fit across my chest very well and allow me to still dance. It's a, shoulder pad. <laughs> it's a shoulder pad. And those happen to be about the same <laughs> size as her shoulder, so. <laughs> That's not so funny. Useful. It, yeah, convenient. Not an angel swept you off your feet. Can you see that? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, here we go, got it. This is my drag persona, Rev Her He. Rev for short, still Reverie. Hope you enjoyed the costume and welcome to the madness. Am I done? Do I get to edit video?